Police identify a bicyclist hit and killed by a charter bus. We look at what the city is doing to keep more of them from dying on their streets. Good evening, everyone. I'm Kyle Linsky. And I'm Paula Toady. There are fresh calls for better bike safety after the death of 26-year-old Jonathan Hussing yesterday morning in Covington. Local 12's David Winter joining us now live from the scene of that crash at 12th and Scott Street. David, good evening. Good evening, Kyle, Paula. Yeah, as you saw, that bus was stretched across this intersection, that bicycle wedged underneath. A horrible sight for people to see. People back at it today, bicycles and cars just inches from one another trying to navigate these narrow streets of Covington. Most of the bicyclists with whom we spoke knew the man who died. If they did not, they know the challenges he faced as a bicyclist in Covington. I noticed you're riding on the sidewalk. Yeah. Yeah, you ain't, got, you ain't got much of a choice, either a sidewalk or get a chance of dying, so. Have you ever gotten hit or almost gotten hit? Uh, almost, yeah, yesterday, coming off the sidewalk. There is no bike lanes, as you can see here. Even on, on any of these streets, there's no bike lanes. Uh, that, would be, that would be a big help for bikers. That help could soon be on the way. Following the death of Gloria San Miguel in August of 2022, the cities of Newport and Covington contracted with Tri-State Trails to create a comprehensive plan for bike infrastructure, policies, and programs. It was presented to the Covington City Commission in January. It offered several options for bike lanes and paths throughout northern Kentucky. It proposed where the lanes should go. It proposed policies like reducing traffic speed. It proposed programs like community bike rides and bike to work days, and it even proposed ways to pay for the projects. That said, the city manager says there will be trade offs. We could certainly put protected bike lanes down if we perhaps take out a lane of traffic or we take out a lane of parking, but then we're going to have extensive discussions about the people you know, who park there or whether or not it can accommodate the traffic that we need. Last month, after the commissioners had a chance to consume the 100-plus page report, the city manager wanted to limit expectations. And we will continue to look for opportunities to improve safety for the bicycling community, but we are not committing to do everything that's in that plan. It would be totally uh, impractical. Bike riders say they just hope something is done. I'm just trying to get, you know, get to where I'm going, that's it, you know, down and back. Alive? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the Covington City Commissioners have yet to pull proposals from that bicycle study and turn them into ordinances onto which they can eventually vote. Reporting live from Covington, David Winter back to you in the studio. All right, David, thank you so much. And the Covington City Manager sent us a statement this afternoon saying some of the improvements are already underway. The city plans to have bike lanes on the 4th Street Bridge across the Licking River and on the Clay Wade Bailey Bridge coming here into Cincinnati. You can always find our stories here on YouTube, but go ahead and click subscribe to get notifications and stay in the know.